Lawmakers in the state are still looking at ways to address the ongoing teacher shortage, especially in the short term. There's a new bill moving its way through the state legislature that incentivizes retirees to return to the classroom as a possible solution. Uh, but as we found out, there is a rule in place that is unique to the state of Michigan. Some say it's killing our chances of filling those open positions. I mean, the reality is that Michigan has done a very poor job for, you know, frankly, decades now in terms of encouraging and giving people reason to want to get into the teaching profession. Strong words from Robert McCann, executive director of the K-12 through Alliance of Michigan. It's an issue lawmakers like Matt Colazar have been battling with for quite some time. It is an issue that every state representative in the state is dealing with, and it is an issue that is nonpartisan. This is about getting something done for public school systems to have the best at their craft back in the schools. Recently, those reps have turned to retirees as a possible answer. However, state law says those educators have to wait nine months before they can return to the classroom. And a lot of the retirees were telling me, look, Matt, I just retired in June. I want to come back and sub part time and I can't do that. I heard another um, person taught me, Matt, I was the football coach for the last 23 years. I'm retiring from teaching, but I would still like to be the varsity football coach, and I can't do that. That waiting window, as explained to him by the Office of Retirement Services, is to show that you actually retired if you want to take your pension. But Michigan is the only state with such a law, says McCann. So if there is a concern about the IRS coming in and investigating that, then why haven't they done that in the 49 other states already? And the reality is that they haven't. A bill passed by the House in June was ready to effectively erase that waiting window by offering retirees up to 10000 a semester or 20000 overall to return to the classroom. A new version, HB 4752, increases that number up to 15000 a semester or 30000 overall. Cole is our sponsor of the bill. I've heard from people all over the state that are retiring from education but still want to have an active role in their schools. This would enable them to do that. While McCann sees this as a move in the right direction, he hopes lawmakers can just eventually either get rid of the earning cap or the waiting window altogether. You're telling someone that while you've earned your retirement, we want you to come back, but we can only pay you even below what we're paying substitute teachers inside of our classrooms. It's not an encouraging argument to make to get someone to give up their retirement that they've they've well earned and come back and work again in our schools. I raised McCann's concern during my conversation with Colazar. Is there a chance you're going to continue conversations about the amount for the compensation per calendar year or? I don't think so. Okay. I don't, it's At some point, you do have to put a cap. The bill passed with more than 92% support in the House. Now it heads to the Senate. Yeah, and when it gets to the Senate, Colazar said he hopes it passes with immediate effect. That way, when it gets to the governor's desk and she signs it, retirees can go right back to work. But as you heard in that story, some don't believe it is the best solution out there at the moment. So we'll see how this one plays out.